Hey, it's Cybersquark11 with the next episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Class Buffs, where I theorize ways to make classes work better for their intended uses. Most classes in 3 are already very good at what they do, but there's some that just aren't and could use some help. So today I'm going to be talking about Yumsmith. So, in the first episode of this, on Buffing Tactician, I said that the rule was going to be only using existing arts and skills. I'm going to have to break that rule because that was before I looked at Yumsmith. Yumsmith is going to need some reworking. So we'll start off with the arts. Before getting into the rest of the arts, the main thing to talk about is Energy Grenade. So Yumsmith is kind of intended as a damage over time based class, except it only has one method of damage over time, and it barely works. So Energy Grenade. It says that it applies the Blaze debuff. This is a lie. What it does is it puts down a field effect that anything within the field will take damage equal to, I believe, it's equal to your attack stat, I think, but then the skill that the class has doubles that effect. Or maybe triples it. I'm not sure how much it increases it by, but I'm pretty sure the base damage is just equal to your attack. Either way, there is no way to make the damage increase other than increasing your attack stat. It's just a flat scaling off of your attack stat, which means it's always going to be pretty weak. It does not apply the blaze debuff. The accessory for increasing blaze damage does not apply to it. Gems that increase the duration or strength of debuffs do not apply to it. And debuff resistance does not apply to it. That one's actually good, but in this case, it's not helping it. So the things we're going to do to buff Energy Grenade is we're going to just make it so that anything within the field takes actual blaze damage. Instead of taking field damage, it's going to take blaze damage. The blaze damage is going to scale off of the initial hit, so you increase the damage of the initial hit by more, then the blaze damage does more damage within the blaze field. Debuff gems and accessories all apply to it to increase the damage further. That is going to be the biggest thing to buff Yumsmith because that's really where it's kind of based around with its whole kit. It doesn't get much synergy. The only thing it really has built for it is just for damage over time. Except again, it just doesn't have much for damage over time. So fixing Energy Grenade is the biggest step to making Yumsmith work better. Now to look at the other arts. All the other arts, pretty good. Nothing wrong with them, all good arts. This one though, what I'm going to do with this is that I feel like this should have been a skill instead. Because it has one very useless skill on Yumsmith. Determination should have been a skill instead of an art. And I guess for the art to replace this, just a... Take something from Seraph, because Seraph is the other Blaze-based class, the one that actually does Blaze, the only actual Blaze class in the game, despite what they make you believe about Gemsmith. So, I'll get to that in a second, but the last thing is sort of Valor. Instead of Damage Link, which is just a weird effect, make this a Blaze Art too. When you use your Talon Art, it inflicts Blaze, same with Seraph. Since Seraph is going to be giving up its skills and arts to this and Stalker in the next episode. The next episode, this is going to cover the Stalker class, and that's going to be taking the rest of what Seraph has. Just going to be taking a few things from Seraph for Yum Smith. So yeah, just replace Damage Link, and you can keep Damage Link and just have it apply both. Apply Damage Link and Blaze. And fill in that other art slot, something like Dragon Snarl, just a very low cooldown, low damage, but high critical hit rate, something you're not really going to use just to fill the spot, really. Now on to the skills. So this is a nice skill, nothing to change there, very useful. This I would change from boosting field damage to boosting blaze damage, since with the way we are making changes to the arts, there would be multiple forms of inflicting blaze, and this would still apply the same effect to the field damage anyway, since the field damage would become actual blaze damage. 
So just change this to boost blaze damage by 200%. This one is nice. And really, debuffs in general need to be fixed. They need to reduce the debuff resistance on enemies in general. and Or if not, then at least damage over time should just go through debuff resistance. Yelmsmith has a couple other debuffs already, so it could still keep this. And this is a master slot, so master skill, so nothing to change about that. Now this is the really bad one. This is worthless. So what this does is that you can only have three field effects out at once. And when you use another one, you use a fourth field effect. The oldest one is just going to disappear. What this skill does is that when the field disappears, the blaze field disappears, it just deals some damage. It's nothing. So replace this with the effect from determination where when standing with any field effect, increases damage. Just replace this with determination, then this would become a very useful class. Not, I don't think it would become absolutely massive DPS like some of the big DPS classes are, but it would give you a nice option for actually running damage over time. It would give you the option to play a damage over time class, which makes sense for the Nopon class since that would be similar to how Ricky played in Xenoblade 1. But yeah, that's it for how to buff Yumsmith. Just a few things. Mainly just needs a couple things reworked rather than actually new stuff going on to it. But if you watch the end, then comment Blossom Dance down below to let me know. And I only have one other episode of this planned so far, and that is Stalker. I'm not sure of any other classes to think of buffs for after that. There are some other classes that definitely need buffs, but I just haven't thought of what to do with them yet. So for now, I only have one episode coming up planned. I might do Lost Vanguard and Heavy Guard at some point. But for now, it's just the one. So see you next time.